Day three of our centennial celebrations, Joy in the Journey, and we've had a really wonderful day. So I wanted to share with you today some of the highlights. Come, now is the time to we started the morning off with Dr. Justin Allison, who gave us um, a talk on water, the water that Jesus offered, and he tied the water in Scripture all the way through Old Testament, New Testament. It was a really wonderful morning. Kids were all out. There was lots of face painting, lots of bouncy castles. We had a lot of kids uh, ending up in the Ardak. And then uh, we, this afternoon, we had pie. Pie in the square, that was fun. Lots of different types of pies. Our local dance celebration uh, team were here and they performed for us on the stage in the square. Uh, lots of their ballet, there was some Highland dance and um, that was really fun to see the kids. After that, we went from the young to the old and the Jubilee Quartet. We started the evening with the mayor um, of Three Hills. He came and he presented Mark and Prairie a plaque that was just a beautiful picture actually of an uh, aerial view from the water tower in Three Hills of Three Hills and the Prairie Campus. And then we went into uh, the talk from Julie Cavanaugh. Julie is an alum of ours and uh, she gave us a wonderful, wonderful reminder that we are called to follow hard after Christ. Your morn shall rise and all your days be bright. And then we ended the evening with a concert with Brian Dirksen. Brian was so fun to have on stage again. He was a professor here for four years teaching in the songwriting and actually developed our songwriting program. And in that light of life, I'll walk to travel. One of the highlights for all of us was that uh, our very own um, voice teacher, Talita, was on stage and sang a Portuguese in one of the songs. So it truly was a beautiful evening. Obrigada, thank you.